-hmm. You know, let me give you an example. If you had a if you had a two story building, yeah. and you were going to put a lot of weight on the second floor, like printing presses or whatever, uh, the smart thing to do was go downstairs first, get on a ladder with a building inspector, right? Go up through the ceiling tiles and examine the floor you're going to build on, right? And see if it's going to hold that kind of weight. Right. So what you're doing is you're standing under the floor or the foundation you're going to build on, okay? Under. So that's where you get understanding to see, because you're standing under. To stand under something to see if you can take the weight or of the No, to see, what's, see what it's sitting on, see what it's, see what it's based on. Uh -huh. So that's where we get the word understanding. To see if we can... To see you need to stand under a subject. Don't just buy the subject. Mm. Go back and read the words, where they came from, to what they get meant. Get under the subject to see if it has Precisely. weight. Precisely, exactly. I Go see. to the library, and it's, there's, a, there's one of the best sets of books on the, in, the, in any library. is called the, um, the, uh, the Oxford Dictionary of the English Language. Mm -hmm. It's a huge, voluminous set. Uh -huh. And they're large volumes. And, and each word that has ever been used in the English language is traced back to day one. Uh -huh. So it's like two or three pages per word. Wow. And it explains where these words came from, how they were developed. And those words then have rooted ourselves into the subconscious. So yeah. the, the word we're using really is being felt deeper than the, the superficial and meaning. And you are reacting to it with your life. You're doing things every day because you think you have to. Why? Because you don't know you don't have to. Right. You don't have to go to court. I don't care what your criminal, uh, what what kind of a crime you committed. I don't care how big it is. You don't have to go to court. You don't. What do you have? No. What, what if you go? You have to contact. You have to fill out a particular kind of form. Send it to the Secretary of State and mm. say to her, say to the Secretary of State, I wish to settle out of court. Mm. You can settle anything out of court. You can. Of course. Wow. If Ford Motor Company is suing General Motors, mm -hmm. they can they can settle out of court. Mm -hmm. So you won't know what they did to settle the thing because it's out of court. Out of the water. Uh, it's out of the water, right? <laughs> right, right. So you can settle any criminal ca complaint out of, out of court. What? You just go through the Secretary of State wow. and say that you want to settle this out of court. That's, so to sort of wrap up, is there a chance the world is going to change, that we're moving into a higher country? No, no, no chance I don't think so. I, I, <laughs> I, th I think there are individuals like yourself and others like me and, and others like us who are beginning to awaken, but there is no possible chance that, uh, that the human race is going to wake up and figure anything out uh -huh. because this kind of knowledge I'm talking about does not have anything to do with football or sports right. or, or the or mind movies. control. Right. That, but so as long as as long as the human race is interested in the Hollywood starlets or football or the silly sports mm -hmm. or all this other silliness that goes right. on uh, with the entertainment, then the human family as a race on the earth are not going to be evolving upward. We're just going down. We're going what further down. What about the down. ETs? We're here in an uh, alien ET conference. Are they? I mean, they exist, and they've been covered Oh, yeah, up. there's and no doubt that well, they are exist. They, are they, the presence of that going to make a difference? With, because it's it going to change it might, everything. It might for you. It might what? for you if they, look at you know as well as I do, if you walk into a kindergarten and you see all the children playing, they have no idea what's going on in the world. They're little mm. children, right? right? Right. But if one of them happens to be very perceptive yeah. and, and is asking you very perceptive questions, you as an adult will say, hmm, that kid's smart, right? right? Maybe I'll take an interest in him and find out you know, more about him and get him into a better school or something. Right. That's what obviously the, uh, the alien presence on the earth is thinking. They're not going to show themselves to the human race. We shoot each other. Right. We shoot our presidents. Right. We shoot our, our, our husbands and wives. We kill everybody. We shoot the ones we love. Yeah. yeah well, right. and, we, right, right. and so why would any higher intelligence come here and want to show themselves to us because right. we will first of all call the police on them right. call the authorities and have them arrested or we will shoot them <clears throat> or throw them into prison so why would any highly intelligent advanced civilization want to mess with us at all right that's right. why they stay probably off 
out there and watching us. That's what I would do. What about 2012? Any thoughts? About oh, those, that's entertainment. We're talking about entertainment Hollywood. Mayan calendar, you know, right. all that stuff. It's all just, entertainment. It's just, let me, let me, let me, let me yeah, give you this please. one quick uh, point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Western, civil, uh, Western civilization the, is based on the white man's culture. And the white man's culture comes from Europe. Mm -hmm. And in the European section of Eastern and Western, well, all of Europe, uh, Europe is a white man's home, okay? Right. And for a thousand years before the Roman Empire ever existed, and it still exists today in Europe, yeah. was, a, was a whole system of government, religion, law, etc. was already established before Rome right. ever came about. And it, that, that whole system of government over the white man's world of Europe a thousand years before Rome was called the Druid system. Right. Druids, well, they were the lawyers, the attorneys, they were the judges, mm. the religious leaders, they were everything. The doctors, the medical, mm. everything was Druid in yeah. Europe. Uh -huh. <clears throat> One of the most important symbols in the Druid religion was a magic wand, like the, like the conductor of an orchestra, he waves his magic right. wand and you have better dance to the tune, because right. he's the boss. So the right? wand. So the magic wand, like Merlin the magician, uh -huh. were always made, magic wands were always made out of the wood of a holly tree. It's made out of Hollywood, okay? <laughs> so once you understand it's the magic of Hollywood that's orchestrating the whole world to dance to a new tune. So. Wow. So where does that leave us? It leaves you in a world of trouble. If you are ignorant, ill-informed, and unread, you need to open your mind and discover for the first time that law, courts, education, it's all part of a system you need to begin to open your mind and study. And understand. And understand and, and how the world really works. See how it's And the best way to do that is go on to my website, because I've been doing it yeah, for tell years. Tell people your website. Very simple, jordanmaxwell.com. Jordan, like the river, Jordan. Right. Maxwell, like the coffee, right. dot com. JordanMaxwell.com. Go through all of my links. Go through all the research pages. I have just hundreds of incredible documents, especially on the links. Right. That will just blow your mind on religion, government, symbols, hidden stuff. The whole world of real wisdom has been hidden. That's what the word occult means. Hidden. Hidden. Wow. So, I mean, how much of this have you known before, before I told you? Oh, some of it. But yeah, but you've heard it for <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've heard for the first time some yeah. of it here. But, I mean, they, especially the maritime stuff I have. The other interesting thing is the way even gas companies use these sacred symbols of the shell, of the course. chevron, to... The shell is the ancient symbol for the incarnational existence. Yeah, the, 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 scallop, the scallop shell, of course. 